Hey, what's going on, y'all? This is um, this is Mar C, aka You the Ugly, aka Mr. Boo, aka uh, Marvin Cummings, aka um, Cancer Beauty Ugly. So today I'm coming to you uh, Thursday, April the um, 30th uh, as Cancer Boo. All right, Cancer Boo is a uh, new. Uh, online social network community that I built that I'm promoting, which actually um, uh, serves as a platform for socializing uh, cancer. So let's just say if you've been affected by cancer in some way, somebody in your family may have passed from it, somebody in your family or someone close to you may have a uh, battle with cancer and actually won that battle and they're still uh, around, meaning they're a survivor, uh, that website is for you. The uh, URL for the website is cancerboo.org. Cancerboo is in cancerbu.org. Uh, very new. I haven't even released it yet. So, uh, But today, I'm coming to you uh, to share or to document a journey, right? Uh, I just turned 45 this year, um, and so, um, you know, one of the things that goes through your mind as you get older is that, you know, you need to start worrying about your health. So, you know, um, I've decided to, let me just go through the process, right? Let me check, get my physical, get my blood work, make sure everything is fine. Uh, in addition to that, I decided to trim down. So. I actually dropped from my average 165. I trimmed off 10 pounds, so I'm averaging right around 155, 157. And that was my high school weight, you know, back in 1988. That was the weight that I went into the Army as back in 1988. And so, right now, I tell you, I feel a lot lighter. I feel a lot healthier. I feel good. So, one of the things that you have to do um, you know, turning 45 is they ask that you make sure you check your prostate, make sure you check on your heart, uh, <clears throat> and also you need to just make sure you do like an overall health check of your internals and you know as best as you can. So for me, uh, it was recommended by my doctor, my physician, that I consider getting a uh, colonoscopy, right? Uh, a colonoscopy exam um, to have the inside of my um, anal area uh, observed for any cancerous uh, activity. And so what I'm going to do is go online right quick and validate the true definition uh, of a colonoscopy. Yeah. So um, <clears throat> colonoscopy, for those that don't know, is a test that allows your doctor to look at the inner lining of your large intestine, which is your rectum, and your colon. And it says that they use a thin, uh, flexible tube called the colon, col colon, colonoscope 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 to look at the colon so it says the colonoscopy helps find ulcers colon polyps tumors and areas of inflammation or bleeding so that means that basically in your anal area um, you can have that type of activity occurring and you know I asked the physician the doctor who's actually going to perform my exam, would you know it? You know, would there be any type of discomfort? Are you <clears throat> impacted in any way, right? Sitting uh, when you're urinating or when you're having bowel movements, are you impacted if that type of activity exists? And he said no. He's saying that you can basically be operating in a dormant state and not know that this type of activity is going on. They say the only outward appearance 
is a loss of weight. So I guess what happens is that a lot of guys who are having issues with their prostate, they lose a lot of weight. Now, I don't know a lot about the details of all that, so I won't go involved, get involved with it. <clears throat> all I know is that what I've done to prepare for this is, you know, I went <clears throat> and um, had my prep. They call it a prep, right? A colon prep, colonoscopy prep, where you sit down and you talk with the physician that's going to perform the procedure. And, you know, you get to kind of like ask them a lot of questions. And, you know, me, I ask a lot of dumb questions because I just don't know. So the uh, gentleman was very um, patient. Uh, in addition to uh, observant, right? And he uh, uh, was definitely forward with uh, forthcoming with information. So I didn't feel like I had to go fishing for information. And so the guy was very, very open to uh, definitely making sure I had as much knowledge as I needed in terms of this process. So, you know, this is the first video, right? This is like an introductory video. I plan on recording some more uh, video so stay tuned for the next video uh be a little more informative about the process that i need to do before the procedure all right this is uh cancer boo marcy see you bye